Hi guys, what can be more delicious to enjoy with Turkish coffee than a Turkish baklava? Baklava is a pastry made out of flaky phyllo dough filled with chopped nuts and binded together with a syrup traditionally made out of sugar and water and lemon. To make this beautiful pastry we're gonna need a package of phyllo dough, two sticks of butter, one third of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of oil, two cups of walnuts, couple shakes of ground cloves, couple shakes of ground cinnamon, and a couple shakes of ground cardamom. And we're also gonna need a long stick that I got in a hardware store and a pastry brush. I will list all the ingredients down in the description box for you. First we need to chop our walnuts and we need to chop them sort of fine but not into powder because we are doing the rolled pastry we don't want these pieces to be too big but also not too little. To the chopped walnuts we are going to add our sugar. We're going to add a couple shakes of cloves, a couple shakes of cinnamon, and a couple shakes of ground cardamom. Mix this all together and our filling is ready. Melt your butter in a small saucepan and to our melted butter we're going to add just a couple tablespoons of oil. It helps the butter to stay liquidy. Next to our phyllo dough. Phyllo dough is usually sold in the freezer section in the supermarket so before working with it you need to take it out and let it sit on the counter for maybe an hour. So you need to unroll the phyllo dough and try to find that middle so all the pieces are nice and even. Okay, we're ready to make our baklava. On the first um, piece of phyllo dough we're gonna apply some melted butter. And spread two tablespoons of that filling that we made. Then you're going to take that long stick and you're going to find just one piece of the phyllo dough and roll it around the stick. Leave it out and then on the other sheet of phyllo dough we're also going to apply some um, melted butter. We're going to return that rolled stick and going to use one more sheet of phyllo dough and this time we're going to roll it a little bit tighter. Now we're going to squeeze it from the ends and place it in our baking form. We'll do it again. So apply your melted butter to one sheet of the phyllo dough, then two tablespoons of filling. Then we're going to take our long stick and using just one sheet of the phyllo dough Roll it, then apply more melted butter and also just using one sheet of the phyllo dough we're gonna roll that one over the one we did and squeeze it and place it in your baking form. So as you can see in our 15 by 10 um, baking dish I have 9 of those rolls. Then we're going to use that leftover butter and brush it over our rolls. That will help them to crispen up a little bit. Bake your baklava in a preheated to 350 degrees oven until golden brown, which is about 35 to 45 minutes, it depends on your oven. When our baklava is ready, we're going to cut it um, into four um, different sections. So 
the pieces should be um, like a bite size. We're gonna let our baklava to cool down until room temperature. And here is the trick to making a great baklava. You either have to pour a hot syrup over a cold baklava or a cold syrup over um, a hot baklava right out of the oven. To make our syrup, we're gonna need one and three quarters of a cup of sugar, one and one third of a cup of water, one lemon, three cardamom seeds, and one teaspoon of rose water. We're gonna start by peeling off zest from the lemon and, and try to use only the yellow part of the lemon because if you're gonna use the white part of it your syrup is gonna come out bitter. Then we're gonna add our sugar, our water, cardamom seeds and one teaspoon of rose water. This rose water is gonna add an amazing flavor to our baklava. We're gonna also add a juice of half of the lemon. Put your syrup on the stove and cook it for about five to 10 minutes. You will see it will become much thicker and also um, it's gonna reduce probably in half. Pour your hot syrup over a cold baklava and using a strainer, um, just pour it over um, your pieces of baklava because you don't want all the seeds from the lemon or cardamom to get into your baklava. So do one layer, let the syrup soak in a little bit and we're gonna do one more layer of the syrup. Then we're gonna decorate it with chopped um, pistachios. I think it's gonna add a beautiful color and also nice texture to a baklava. Let your baklava to stand for about half an hour and it's ready to be served. And I'm using this little um, cupcake uh, liners to serve my baklava. Because of all this uh, sticky syrup, they are uh, gonna be very sticky so I think it's better to serve it in these little liners this way you can um, serve it with a cup of coffee and if you cut a piece it's gonna be nice and crispy and it's gonna be filled with chopped um, walnuts and it's gonna look amazing I hope you guys enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you soon bye